Hello friends, this is me Mohammed Kamran and welcome to my channel Kimani Max. There you go. Today we have this render output as I told you before in my fan page that coming soon this kind of render. Welcome to the tutorial of 3ds Max video lighting. I have this output you can see this and I have this file here uh, let's uh, zoom out you can see there is a punching bag in the box which is some something looking like a room so now we need to create this kind of render actually so let's start it I'm going to disable everything and just only a model I'm going to delete my light and you can see this is all already a texture so what I'm going to do, they are all the texture material. I have texture all of this, so I'm going to take the video material and <coughs> from there I'm going to take the video material. This and uh, select all the objects, all the objects and assign this video material just to show. Let me let me show you how what is the render quality here. If I render this, sorry, this viewport. If I render this, okay. Here, there's nothing here, no light, no texture, and nothing. It's totally a proper gray. And uh, what I'm going to do first, you need to go. Check out the V-Ray setting. Firstly, your renderer element should be V-Ray, and we have all the settings. I'm going to describe all of it in the in the last uh, after texturing or after lighting. First thing that I have actually create a wall separately, not in only one box. Wall actually created separately. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign this one. Before that, go to the lighting panel, select V-Ray. And there is a Vray Sun like this. Whenever you apply the Vray Sun, he will ask you that would you like to automatically add a Vray Sky. If you are in the exterior, so you can apply the sky. But if you are not in the exterior, you are in the interior. So I think I don't think so. With that, we don't we need this. That's why I'm going to say no. And uh, select the light panel here. Select the Vray Sky and take out to the punching bag like this. Now. If I take the renders let's see what's going to happen you can see there is a light high intensity light here and uh, we need to decrease the intensity of light as well it is the high intensity light actually you can see there's a light quality complete high end proper shadows are really very very strict and very very hard so let's turn down the first I'm going to make it. If, I, if you will click the high quality so you can see the render output as well a little bit with the light settings. So what I'm going to do now, we need to make, come back to the standard. See the textures. Select this wall, I'm going to apply the texture which will be something like uh, Okay, here I'm going to apply this box I will apply as well, this texture. Let's see the quick render, you will get something new here, I hope. Well now you can see this, uh, with the hard lighting there is a background right side and the shadow as well. I don't need any hard light, no, so that's why I'm going to decrease the intensity of Vray Sun. From here, come to the downside. There is the intensity multiplier. It's a one. We can provide it something like 0 0.005. I think it's enough. So now we can see a result. It's a really, really nice. Render output 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to texture this punching bag as well. So select this punching bag. There's a texture of punching bag. You can see this is a standard form. So I'm going to firstly I'm going to assign this all. So it will assign as a texture, but I will change the texture of it. Come to the bitmap. Here's my punching bag, and the, I have the this one, the leather texture on the punching bag. Okay, assign. Wow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this windows, increase the segments, sorry sides, approach and assign another beta material which will be white, reflective, little bit reflective and some, some gloss in a 0.9 and assign on it. Let's see the render output. Yes. As you notice, uh, when we apply the texture, the light is going dim with the help of textures. So now we need to increase some amount of VRS sun, which is called 0 0.005. I'm going to 0 0.009 little bit let's see the render light quality yeah it, it is little bit increased make it more 0 0.01 great Zero point five. oh too much 0.1 well let's see now complete render we can see this uh, complete render quality with the help of lighting I already modeled this object and um, this tutorial which is only based upon the lightings so we can see the light quality properly here this is showing there's a punching bag inside of it great otherwise you can see and change the directions of light uh, as you wish now it was actually a VA light uh, if I will delete this let's see now I'm going to select this VA light and I'm going to delete this this time come to the standard light panel come to the standard and target direct light there's a target direct light here let's uh, come to the light come to the light here first turn on the shadow increase the multiplier 0 0.09 approx so here we can see Now we can see there's a great shadow right here. So I'm going to get the light on the punching bag. So I can see the shadow on the punching bag as well. <coughs> what is interesting because I'm going to create a light with the fog or we can say with the volume light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this light. Come to the atmospheric effect. Atmospheric effect, I'm going to open it properly. Okay, atmospheric effect. Add volume light. And now see the render. You can see there a lot of fog is coming from the window. We need fog of course uh, with the sunlight but not in this. Not like this. So cancel this render, come to the rendering and go to the environment. Select volume light. Come down, here is 5. Density is 5. We need to decrease the density. Suppose I'm going to select 1. Render. 
here we can see we have decreased some amount but still it's high 0.1 now it's looking much better now it's looking good now it's looking great with the proper light increase the intensity one 0.05 hmm decrease more 0.01 There you go, we have uh, a great lighting render. We have seen with the various sky and we have seen with the directional light. With the help of there is a fog which is coming from the window and creating a shadow on the punching bag and behind the wall as well. Uh, and there's a good render, I think uh, it's enough for the lecture. Just let me know, let me tell you the render settings first. From here, you come in. You need to come in the render setup and find out your render setting. Just come to the V-Ray and just select your V-Ray render engine. So then you can find this V-Ray and GI options. Firstly, you need to select the image sampler. It's up to you. You will select the buckets and the progressive. It's up to you. But in the image filter, I have used the Catmull room. They are also filter which will help you to filter the render. Uh, I can take Catmull room normally. And in the global GMC, we have some subdivisions, minimum or maximum point. It's up to you. In global DMC is about default setting, but environment, if you take the exterior, so you can see the environment GI as well. You need this, otherwise it uh, doesn't matter. And in the color mapping, normally I use the exponential tab. Here is a GI. GI means the global illumination, which is which will work like the secondary bounce. In the secondary bounce, first you need to enable the secondary bounce and select your both bounce, primary and secondary bounce. Uh, I have taken the radius map and the secondary bounce I choose light cache, which is uh, collect the collection of the cache memory from the lights. Here you can, I have current preset on the low quality and in the light cache, I took thousand subdivisions and then just simple render settings. I didn't disturb this part and I didn't disturb this part only. I just play with these two, two parts and took this kind of render output. So here I would like to say if you really like this tutorial, so please it's up to you. Support Kim Animax, like our page and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Goodbye.